I've lost count as to how many bikini contests I've been to since my first in 1975. They certainly have evolved over the years. I've watched them held in little bars in Fort Lauderdale during spring break and huge contests on the beach with over a hundred contestants that took three days to complete. I've watched bikini contests on a small stage with girls entering right from the beach to win a $10 bar tab, and national pageants with contestants coming from regional qualifiers that prepared for months before competing for the six-figure prize package going to the winner. Most of the contests I went to were in Florida, but I've been to a few in California and one in Hawaii when I went there to go surfing. This video is going to be about a subject I've had spirited discussions with friends a few times over beers as we tried to decide, is a bikini contest really about the bikini? Or is it about the contestant that's wearing it? Or is it a combination of both? From all the experience I've acquired over the years, I think bikini contests started out being just about the bikini. The girl with the best bikini won. Back then, most of the bikinis were the same style with full bottoms and a few different styles when it came to the top. Keep in mind, bikinis are two-piece and no one-piece swimsuits were allowed. I once saw a girl get booed off the stage because she wore a one-piece in a bikini contest. In the late 1970s, the higher cut string bikini bottom style emerged and the contestants started competing in them. If you had 10 girls on stage wearing the full bottoms and one girl shows up in a bikini with strings on the side pulled up to her waist, she would win because she had the best bikini and stood out from the rest. Her bikini made the difference and the contest truly was about the bikini. After that, all the contestants were wearing string bikinis pulled high on the waist. When they're all wearing basically the same style bikini, it becomes more about the girl wearing it. The serious contestants were always seeking an advantage, so the bikini styles continued to evolve as the girls sought to gain an edge on the competition. By the time the 90s rolled around, Girls were wearing the slingshot style suits, which technically could be considered a one piece, but I never saw a girl get disqualified or boot off the stage for wearing one. The slingshot was also one of my favorite styles that come out of the swimsuit style evolution. It was practically impractical for just hanging out at the beach, and I don't ever remember seeing a girl wearing one on the beach but the slingshot was definitely a crowd favorite in bikini contests, which is what it was designed for. After the slingshot came the micro bikinis and the teardrop style, which put bikini contests at the limit as to what was considered public decency. As a result, many of those contests that were held in public were discontinued to make the events more family oriented. I've watched as the bikini styles evolve from full granny panty bottoms to the teardrop as the contestants continue to push the limits to gain an edge on the competition. So in that respect, the bikini contest was more about the bikini than it was about the looks of the contestant. To help prove that point, I'll add that I've been to a few homemade bikini contests that were always held in bars and nightclubs. Contestants competed in something that they had to make themselves, and it was supposed to resemble a bikini. I saw bikinis made out of dollar bills and purple crown royal bags and even seashells. One girl made a bikini out of Budweiser bottle caps and monofilament fishing line. I saw one made out of popcorn, but the wildest one of all was a girl that came out in a bikini made of whipped cream. The flaw in her design was the whipped cream didn't hold up well under the hot stage lights. 
The MC tried to keep her on stage as long as he could, much to the delight of the crowd, but she bailed before the reveal. She definitely won the contest and came back on stage to collect her cash while wrapped in a towel. Sorry I don't have any video of those contests because the nightclub didn't allow video cameras. But the point I'm trying to make is the homemade bikini contest was truly about who had the best bikini and not about who was the best looking contestant. If it was a beauty contest, a different girl would have definitely won in many instances. From my experience, very rarely did the best looking girl win in a boring bikini over a contestant less striking in looks, but wearing a much better bikini. Generally speaking, I'd say the bikini was the most judged, followed by stage presentation, and then overall looks of the contestant. That would be a proper bikini contest. It gets a bit messed up when a swimwear company sponsors the bikini contest and all the contestants are forced to wear one of the bikinis from their line. In that case, it is no longer a bikini contest and becomes a fashion show with the best looking girl in their bikini winning. I never cared for those contests much because I actually wanted to see different bikinis in a bikini contest. So the question is, are bikini contests about the bikini, the contestants looks, or the combination of both? Talking about it with my friends, I got a lot of different viewpoints which I found fascinating, and now you know mine. With the much wider audience of YouTube, I'd love to hear what you all think a bikini contest is about, so please let us know in a comment below. I'll help make my point by showing only the bikinis from a big beachside contest I recorded way back in 1988. The winner's bikini is included, so let's see who can pick out the winner just by the bikini shown in the video. Also judging only by the bikinis you see, which one would you pick to be the winner? You can stake your claim with the video timestamp in the comments there's enough interest in this video, I'll edit the entire contest revealing their faces, including the winner on stage, and upload it in the near future. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this test from One Photographer's Life.